Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Okay, so now I know it has been a while. And I say this every time, but to my defense, I have to just say that a lot has been going on in the last few years, uh, especially here in the last few months. Um, I mean, my life has really been turned upside down, right? Um, and uh, I, I, honestly, I was not ready to fully get back into uh, get back into this. It's 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 not an easy thing to start making content uh, if you're not feeling well. You know, if you're not feeling it, it, it's very difficult to make it. It's very difficult to make it. And and you know, honestly, I don't get sick very often or anything like that. I don't get colds and all that stuff, but. You know, because of the pressures that I've had to deal with, uh, just some of the things that, you know, have been going on, it's 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 just put me in a place where I wasn't in the mindset to make content. So uh, now, though, things have settled down. I'm I'm in a very good place now and I'm uh, I'm able to, uh, you know, start this again. So hopefully this is the mark of, of the beginning of the new free coiner okay so anyway we'll just take it from here and you know hope for the best that being said I just wanted to kind of go over the movements in the market and we've obviously seen some really good stuff in the last uh, month or so and this is this is very exciting because it's looking like we're about to head into a much bigger uh, basically a bull run um, now, 2021 being the last time, uh, although XRP didn't get to go because of the whole SEC stuff, this time it should not be a problem. Now, I'll, I'll say this. If XRP had reached its peak back in 2021, which should have been around $10, right? Now, this is all speculation. Do not take what I'm saying <laughs> for anything other than speculation. However, if we had reached that peak, that means that we should have gone higher than that level this time. This this next bull run over the next, you know, whatever months or weeks or whatever it's going to be. Um, and the way I calculate the, uh, the, the, the way these bull runs are, are working for the most part or how they're reaching their peaks is that uh, generally most coins get up to about four or, four or four or five times their previous all time high. OK, so that means that XRP is like, again, has yet to reach that. Uh, since 2021, um, or rather, I'm sorry, since 2018. So four or five times higher than its all, last all-time high, which was $3.80 some, some odd cents, would be around $10, 10, nine, between nine and like 12 bucks, okay? Now, because everything has really changed, and I'm going to kind of go into one of the things here in just a minute. Um, it is, I think it's possible that we could see a much higher level than just nine to ten dollars. Now, yeah, I know. And, and look, I listen to uh, uh, BCB's markets in the morning pretty much every day. I mean, I, I really don't miss miss anything, miss his uh his videos and I think he's totally right I mean the the TA on on the whole market is very uh, you know it's 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 reliable for the most part right you can kind of predict the way things are gonna happen however I think when we're talking about the volume right because that's what controls the, the, the levels that um, these coins reach right when we're talking about the volume of, of these different coins and in particular XRP, um, I think we're about to see much more volume than we're really expecting. 
So it could very well be a standout. Um, I, I think it's I think it's possible. And the main reason why, one of the reasons why, um, is because of this whole HSBC thing, which is happening now. The HSBC situation by itself, okay, is not necessarily, and I can show you the uh, press release here. Uh, this by itself wouldn't necessarily change anything. However, with HSBC being the seventh largest bank in the world, I fully believe, as uh, as Chad uh, Stein. Steingraber, Steingraber. I, I don't know if that's his, his real last name, but interesting if it is. But um, I agree with Chad Steinberger, Bagger. <laughs> uh, sorry, Steingra Steingraber. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he says, understand the shockwave this will create. H HSBC just fired the starting gun. HSBC is but one, and this is true. There is a there's a lot of a, uh, adoption happening with XRP. A lot. Um, now, do I think the Fed is going to do a buyback and all that stuff? Absolutely not. That I don't believe that'll happen. Could it happen? Eh, anything could happen. I don't think that's going to happen though. I think the adoption that's coming for XRP is going to be absolutely phenomenal, right? And with the uh, the amount of money that is involved here, I fully believe it could send XRP to places that we're really not expecting. OK, as he says here, the seventh largest bank in the world with a two point nine trillion uh, dollars, basically with two point nine trillion in assets just told you they are taking on digital assets through Ripple. I mean. Yeah, so that speaks for itself, right? Um, we got uh, the whole swell thing happening, but you know, I can tell you now with my experience since I mean, I've been in this market, I've been focusing on XRP since uh, the beginning of 2018. That's when I really came across, across it, and I've said many times back in 2017, I bought XRP when it uh. At, I mean, pretty much at the when it bottomed in 2017. I think that was in like um, March or April. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly when. But at the time, it was um, six tenths of a cent, and I and I and I I basically put like fifteen dollars in it. I mean, it was it was really nothing. Um, but I turned around and sold it at twenty cents, which was huge for me. Right now. Um, I didn't know anything about uh, what was going on. I mean, I was listening to the FUD about uh, XRP being a banker's coin and all this stuff. And and guys, look, I'm going to tell you something. Just my own experience. Do not listen to FUD. Don't listen to anyone telling you anything about the crypto market. Because nine times out of ten, now here I am telling you <laughs> about things. But what I'm suggesting is just do your own research, because when you listen to FUD, it causes you to react emotionally. And usually that emotion is fear. OK, fear or overwhelming um, uh, euphoria. OK, that's not good. When you have these extreme uh, swings in your emotions, it can cause you to make some very bad mistakes. Just always keep that tempered. And only work on the facts and what you can prove, you know, that is that is the best way to do anything. And also, when you have uh, something like, for example, XRP, uh, when you know this, the, that a project is is good, like, for example, like Cardano, there's been a ton of thought about Cardano. But I can tell you this, there's a lot of work going on with Cardano. So it's not like it's going to fall by the wayside i mean look at look at litecoin there's i mean pretty much nothing going on with litecoin where is it there's there, as far as development and all that there's like really nothing nothing like it was uh a few years ago 
but look where it is. It's still number 16. The interest is still there. These things are not going to go away. Okay. We are in a, we are in a fairly mature market. So what we see right now should still be around for a while. And if you're con so well, so if you're concerned about a, a project that you're involved in, just do your research, look at the history, you know, look at, find the, uh, the interest and all that. There's, there are a ton of other things that are going to other coins that have been pumping like crazy. But, um, if you're, if, if you're not one of those who's able to get out there and just find these obscure projects that actually do something and you don't get rug pulled, Hey, you know, the best thing to do in my mind, this is what I do is to just hang on to the ones that are, that have proven themselves over time. And usually you're going to get, you know, and again, no guarantees, but usually you're going to get that four or five X pump from the all from the last all time high. A lot of times they tell you, you know, 10,000 X or whatever from, you know, whatever price you never know where that's starting. So I always look at the last all time high and then look at the, uh, the trend after, after the fact. So that's how I was able to kind of capitalize on the things that I, that I was able to capitalize on last time. So, um, so yeah, just, just again, just get the facts and, and just move from, you know, from that point on. Um, now, as I was talking about swell, this will absolutely, I mean, if it does anything for price, it, it won't be much at all. I remember 2018 was 2018 or 2019 was, uh, I think 2019 was a really big year, uh, or overhyped year for swell. Okay. And you know, that, that I really paid attention to the price uh, or rather the the hype around it was that we were going I mean to the moon right I think the price went up uh, a little bit and then it came right back down it's kind of like after the lawsuit was was uh was over and you know we got that nice pump tonight 96 cents I think it was um yeah just remember these things don't really produce anything right it's it's not this news that does it it's only those car hold cold hard facts and the market it's uh and and this is this is the thing that i've i've learned from um blockchain backer and i fully you know actually i'm gonna take one of his classes because the dude has some knowledge i mean he has he has some very very good knowledge i mean you know some people have knowledge that's uh that's just you know knowledge he has knowledge that's useful that's going to help you in understanding this market so i fully i mean you know my little channel means nothing but i'm telling you my any success that i was able to have um really it it, it was because i was listening to that guy so he's you know helped me tremendously but uh but yeah this swell event it's all nice it's 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 great i mean if you're able to go, that's awesome. Um, there's going to be a lot of good information that comes out of it. But as I said, there will not be anything as far as price happening. What can ultimately move it will be this HSBC announcement. However, it won't be something that happens immediately or it may not be because the, the you know, it's kind of like, uh, uh, starting a car, you know, you have to, you have to build the momentum to get to the speed that you want. Right. So it just, it's going to take a while. So what I am basically putting my money on is that XRP will, uh, four or five times X from its previous all time high. So, um, you know, like I said, between nine and like 12 or maybe $15, that's where I'm sitting. Hopefully, we're all rewarded for the patience that we've had with this whole thing. We don't get some gotcha again, like what happened in 2020. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, again, I'm just, I'm just here trying to put just a little bit of encouragement um, and, and just understand guys, 
this market is the most volatile market that's ever been uh, introduced to the world. There's a way to make money, a lot of it, and there's a way to lose money. Just be informed about everything that you do when it comes to this. There are a lot of scammers. There are a lot of uh, content creators out there who don't care about your, you know, what happens to you. You know, I mean, I it's not like I know each and every one of you guys, but I care about what happens to the people that listen to what I have to say. So I'm going to make sure I'm responsible when it comes to putting out information. Uh, so, yeah, and you might hear me uh, at some point maybe endorse a certain coin or something like that. But the only way I would do that is if I fully believe in it. OK, and again, it's not like I'd be telling you to buy it. But if it's something that I'm, you know, fully on board with, you're going to know about it. But anyway, guys, with that all being said, I really appreciate you guys joining me um, again. Hopefully, you know, since everything is settled down, I'll be able to be more active. And, you know, I want to bring you guys along with me. So uh, if you haven't done so already, just as a reminder, please hit that subscribe button, the like button. And also don't forget about that bell notification button. So, you know, when I have posted again, and with that being said, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless. Oh.